good evening and welcome to our pre-First Communion Passover meal, I guess is what we could call this. Uh, and again, I'm not sure how many years this has been going on, but I think it's been quite a few years that when we have uh, celebrated First Communion that this Seder meal has been, been part of the, the program for uh, the young people. And, and the reason we do it, it, it's explained really on the first two pages of the booklet that you have, uh, the tradition of the Jewish people to hold a Seder meal to celebrate the Passover. And the way that this is connected with First Communion or with Holy Communion is that it would have been at a Passover meal, like something like what we will do here in a couple of minutes, that Jesus would have been sharing with his disciples on the night that he instituted the sacrament of Holy Communion and uh, passed the bread and wine around to his disciples and began what we know of as Holy Communion. So it is connected with the Jewish rite and holiday of the Passover. And so what we do here tonight in this room is to, the first part of what we do is just kind of symbolic. So we'll, there'll be some readings that I will do and the kids will chime in on. And then there's some food items that we will pass around. It was during this Last Supper that he gave us his body and blood with the invitation to take and eat Drink of it, all of you. And tonight, we will celebrate together a simple adaptation of the Jewish Passover meal or Seder in order to better understand and appreciate how it is connected to the Christian sacrament of Holy Communion. So let us begin by lighting and blessing the candles, not before all of us, but before our first communicants. And we would have the mothers light the candles. And then if the mothers would, in unison, Say the prayer that's, that's listed there. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has made us holy with your commandments. As we light these candles, help us to remember to live according to your words, so that we may bring light to others. We will now hear an explanation of the symbols of the traditional Passover meal. This is the mantle of the uneven bread which reminds us of how the Hebrew people of Egypt in a three minutes now have time to keep place for the trip. This bear herb calls to us the pain and suffering of the Savior. And now what we'll do is we'll pass those. There's two dishes, so one can go one way, one can go the other way, and everybody can just take a little bit of that and put it on their paper plate.
bless the green spring vegetable, the celery. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, creator of the fruit of the earth and all growing things. Keep us ever mindful of the bounties of our lands and aware of the needs of others. Everyone can dip your celery in the salt water. Celery. This is the bread of affliction, which our forefathers ate. All who are hungry, let them come and eat. All who are thirsty, let them come and drink. All who are needy, let them come and celebrate the meal with us. Keep us ever mindful of the needs of our brothers and sisters, and of those who hunger for knowledge and truth and your word, O oh Lord. As we bless, break, and pass the matzah, we are, we are reminded, as with the juice shared from a common vessel, that the sharing of a single matzah identifies unity. Because there is one bread, all of us, though many, are one body, because we share the same loaf. Thank you. 